Hi, this is Sydney with MCAT Mastery, and today I'm going to be talking about my MCAT journey. I started prepping for the MCAT my junior year of college. I was still taking classes, I was doing my extracurriculars, and maintaining some semblance of a social life. <laughs> I began my prep like I did most academic things in my life, and that was by making a plan. I am known in my friend group for making color-coded spreadsheets, and that is exactly what I did. So I kind of wrote out the dates from December all the way until my test, which was scheduled for the end of May, and then broke down my Kaplan review books in terms of, you know, what content needed to be covered by what date. So I was going through these Kaplan books for about five months and I felt like I had a pretty good grasp of the content. You know, I had taken the classes, I had done these review prep books, but my scores on the Kaplan practice tests that I were taking were pretty stagnant. I wasn't seeing any growth in my score and I was starting to get a little bit discouraged just because I knew, you know, my test date's coming up and I'm kind of stuck in this low 500 range, thankfully, which is interesting to say now because I was really upset at the time, but my MCAT ended up getting pushed back due to COVID restrictions. So my May date was canceled and I had to kind of figure out when I was gonna take this test and ended up getting a makeup date in July. So I had two months left to kind of do the rest of my prep and I had finished the content review. I didn't know what else was left to do. So I was taking a day to kind of just decompress and reassess my plan and figure out what, you know, these next two months needed to look like for me to have success on the MCAT. And I came across MCAT Mastery and I was curious about it because I had never really seen anything like that. I didn't really use any strategy prep resources. so. I purchased that and ended up reading it from front to back and I was shocked. The biggest takeaway that I had from that was practice questions are gold in MCAT prep. You know, we've all taken the same classes, you know, that you have to take for medical school. We've all done some form of content prep, but the real benefit and the real jump in scores came from doing practice questions and doing the AAMC practice questions. So two months before my test date, I purchased those for the first time. I hadn't been using them at all. And I spent those next two months digging into the practice questions and, you know, I would do the questions and then do a full review of what went wrong in those questions. And I started taking the AMC practice tests and I started to see a huge jump in my score. I started to slowly kind of realize that the test is less about applying your knowledge. Yes, that is a huge component of it. But there's also this part of can you think critically and not get distracted by the, you know, big distracting answers? Can you discern what information is actually important and what information is there to lead you to the wrong answer? And can you kind of sort through answer choices to find the most right answer? So I kind of realized, oh, this MCAT is, yes, a content test, and yes, you're testing my science-based knowledge, but you're also trying to trick me. And that realization kind of changed the whole way I was approaching the MCAT, the whole way I was viewing the MCAT, and I really started to see these big jumps in my score from being stagnant in the low 500s to my last practice test before I took the actual MCAT was a 520. I kind of felt like I was slowly cracking the MCAT code and realizing how do I apply the knowledge I already have to these new questions. So I ended up taking my MCAT at the beginning of July and ended up with a 518 overall. When I kind of looked at my score breakdown though, I was shocked. I scored the highest on my Kim Fizz section, which I you know, was consistently doing relatively poorly on as I was doing my MCAT prep because I've really never been a chem or phys person. But this test and this score kind of showed me that, you know, you don't have to be a chem phys genius to do really well in that section. You just have to understand how do I apply kind of the basic knowledge that I do know and I do understand, use the material that they give me in the question, and then put all that together to get the right answer. So through that, I realized you know, we've all taken the classes, we've all taken the steps to really understand the material. It's just learning how to apply it and how to not get tricked by the MCAT writers. So I wanted to become an MCAT tutor because I want you to have the same realization 
that you've done the work, you've put in the hours to understand the content. Now we just have to make sure you have the confidence to apply that knowledge and to not get tricked by the MCAT writers to achieve your dream score. I have learned a lot tutoring so far. I learned for myself that, you know, I really like being able to kind of cheer people along on this journey. I know it's really isolating and can be a really lonely experience studying for the MCAT with having people in your life who maybe don't understand why you have to dedicate so much time and energy to, you know, this test and these books and these practice questions. But I like the kind of role I get to play as not only a tutor, but also hopefully as a friend in kind of championing you along and helping you gain the confidence you need to go in and just absolutely crush the MCAT. I've also learned a lot from my students in that not everyone has the same learning style and not every approach works the same for every student. So I've kind of learned that you have to approach everyone as their own unique person and learn. Then you must tailor your tutoring strategies so that it best suits that student's needs. And so you kind of come up with this individualized plan together so that you're able to achieve, you know, your specific MCAT goals. I want to encourage you in that you do know this information. You've taken the classes. That's why you're here. That's why you're gearing up to take this test. You've done the content review. Now it's time to kind of dig deep and find the strategy that works best for you. If you're a little bit lost on where to begin with that strategy, I would encourage you to maybe look into using MCAT Mastery. There is a free MCAT strategy email, which you can sign up for using the link below. And that would be a really great place to kind of kickstart your strategy sessions and figure out how to move from that content based learning to a strategy approach to the MCAT. So I'll leave you with that. You know what you're doing. You've got this. I believe in you and best of luck with all your studying. Thanks.